Spanish dance rhythms as the base for it. I'm oh, excited to see this, Nikki. <laughs> Well, formerly, you will know, Elena was uh, Olympic bronze medalist and uh, Olympic gold in the team event with Nikita Katsalapov. And he was a former world, world junior champion with uh, Victoria Sinitsina. Well, it's all change. A and lot of hype about this team. It's going to be interesting to see what the for us. Uh, there's always stories in the background of ice dancing. I think it's relationships. See how the fire comes out from this routine. touching a step sequence, one of the required elements. And already you can see a much deeper edge set from this team to the Chinese that opened up. <laughs> Slight layer of sync on the third twizzle. Adobe, the used to be the compulsory dance section, used to have to repeat these steps again and again now. Just one sequence. And then a partial step sequence. It gets less and less. Combination in the left. Well, they sold it. First time out together. Loads of passion, loads of fire. Elena Elenk and Ruslan Ziganshin of Russia skating in second place because they're. They haven't got anything to really seed them to take them lower down in the ranking, which is uh, seen as uh, an advantage the lower you, uh, the later you skate in the ranking. A passionate performance. I don't know about you, Nikki, but I'm a huge fan of hers, and I remember when she competed at World Junior Championships, and she was very, very special then. That was interesting. Um, as I said, there's been a lot of hype about the team, and, and we're all looking forward to seeing what they come out with. Can't say I was overwhelmed. Like I said, I'm a huge fan. Um, I'm hoping that this will progress as the season goes on and it will be very interesting next week when they go to the Rostelecom Cup. Okay, so you've been quite... quite um, uh, so what's missing? Oh, I, I don't know if they were nervous, um, but she just didn't shine and sparkle for me the way that I've seen in the past with her other partner, but that's inevitable. It's so new to them. Uh, We'll see next week. I'm really looking forward to seeing how it matches up and seeing how their former partners, because obviously both Ruslan and Elena's former partners, they're also, they've now formed a team 
and next week they'll be competing against each other, and that will be a battle royale. So you're, you're uh, very well put, and uh, understand. Um, now, for me, the height differential is, is a, it's something to play with. Me, because I haven't got your long legs, <laughs> which I always wished I had, you know, it, it, it does make a difference. You know, you, the, the differential of how the couple look together helps them. If the man is taller, he can have more power in, in his overall look, I think, in a natural, in, particularly in this. Or you need to work at it. And my feeling is, She's used to having a taller partner. She's almost, at times, overpowering him at the moment. I think it's going to be a really difficult job for Ruslan because she is so exceptional. And I think it's best when you have a team where the man really leads the lady. And in an instance like this, where she is so strong, it came across that she was leading him. Uh, and that's where he it He needs to lead, doesn't it? It's the, no doubt about it's it. The, the best team is the male leads. It's the, it's the spot. And when you watch Fred Astaire, Ginger Rogers is great, doing it all backwards in high heels. Good scores. 60.48, they won't be skating second, I'm sure, when we get to the free program. And they look pleased. Yeah, they look, they look happy with that. In fact, he doesn't look that pleased. 